Macintosh Guide and I'm back again with a brand new video. Now in the past I've done videos on how to install Windows 11 in different ways. Obviously the popular being the bootcamp version uh, on Intel machines. Now if you have transferred over to the new Apple Silicon ecosystem that Apple have brought in, you would have realized that you cannot run Linux natively on a machine unless you use Arch Linux. Now, Arch Linux is nowhere near completion uh, and it's still a buggy mess that the developers are still working very hard on and I know they will get this out soon. But in the meantime, there are solutions out there which Apple and Microsoft recommend you use, which is virtual machines. And for the last couple of months, I've been using Linux very heavily for my own workflows um, and I thought it would be wise to do a video on how to get Linux installed on your MacBook. So guys, sit back, relax and enjoy this one. Are you going to need? Now, as mentioned, I am going to be showing you Parallels Desktop. Parallels Desktop is a paid utility. I use it heavily, loads of software engineers use it, loads of IT. Uh, workers use this and developers use this very heavily as well so it's uh, it's a strong recommendation guys if you're going to use any v virtual machining platform please use Parallels it has so many outstanding features and compatibility and it just, just works amazingly you can run Windows 11 on it you can run Mac OS Sonoma Beta on it um, and you can also run ARM versions of Linux again bear in mind if you're Apple Silicon you will need to be running ARM versions of these operating systems and if you're Intel then you can run x64 versions of them on x86 versions so just a little heads up on that it's again the process is pretty much the same as it is for Windows uh, for, sorry not Windows for for Intel machines and for Apple Silicon machines um, I'm just going to show you the different uh, features that are available as you can see it's just you can just do everything within the system itself which means you don't need to have so many downloads happening at the same time. And obviously the version I have is a business edition, which is provided by my company, but I also own a pro edition license personally as well for any private work that I do. Um, so yeah, I would suggest if you guys are going to go for Parallels Desktop, go for the pro edition. It's 100% worth it. So once you've got that downloaded, you will see the new beautiful icon and a new page that will say, hey, get Windows 11, or do you want to install a Linux OS? Um, as you can see, the new Parallels desktop icon is so much more better and so much more blends in with Mac with the new Mac OS system compared to the old icon. Um, but yeah, so guys, you will now get to this screen here. Parallels desktop downloaded and installed you will see a new beautiful icon that will show up. It's so much better than their old icon. And you shall see this new beautiful screen. So you don't need anything else. You just need Parallels Desktop. And it has built-in free systems that you can already download. So you can download Kali Linux. You can download uh, Debian. You can download Fedora Linux. You can download Ubuntu with x86. Uh, underscore 64 emulation uh, you can also have got ARM version of Ubuntu Linux and you can also download Mac OS Ventura uh, you can also do the other Mac OS versions as well on here but obviously in this instance in this video we're going to be doing a Linux install and the Linux install I'm going to be doing is simply guys just Ubuntu Linux it's very easy very quick to use um, so all you need to do is just click on download Ubuntu Linux click continue and you'll see it right here it'll say Ubuntu 22.0.2 ARM64 version and it says the package has about 3.52 gigabytes and when it's unpacked it's going to be about 8.11 gigabytes so you just need to click on download and all we need to now do is just wait for it to download uh, the Ubuntu Linux version now see a version of Ubuntu installed on my MacBook 
Pro, and it's telling me that I will need to, I will need to put a new password in. So I'm just going to put my new password in, and it should boot me straight into Linux. So yeah, I, the first thing will straight away prompt me is to install Parallels Tools, and guys, this is essential. This will help you with uh, the screen resolution, uh, external monitor resolutions. It, yeah, it's it's essential. Um, and if we just put fling this to the side for the time being, so it obviously goes to a setup phase. So it says to me, connect your online accounts. If I want to connect my Ubuntu single sign-on, Google, Nextcloud, or Microsoft accounts. For the time being, I'm just going to skip that. And then it's telling me, Upgrade this machine to Ubuntu Pro for security updates on my other Until 2032. Fulfill the crypto and whatever. So it's asking me, do I want to enable Ubuntu Pro for this installation? For now, I'm going to skip it. And then it's also asking me if I want to send system information. I would say yes. Do I want location services on? For the time being, no, I do not. And it's already telling me that, uh, yes, sorry, it's just too many things coming up. Loads of things being installed. Remind me later. Yep. Cool. Yep. Press phone. Close. Brilliant. There you go. So it's already telling me that there's a couple of software packages that I can already install. Stuff like GIMP, uh, Plex Media Server, Sublime Text, Audacity. You get the gist. Um, but we're happy with what we've got so far and boom guys we're, we're, re we're already in to ubuntu linux you can upgrade this version to 23.04 without any any problems or you can just use the lts version which is what i usually do you can increase the screen and you can tell the resolution fits straight in which is great and it's just very very easy to to use and 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 hop back hop back and forth between now i'm just going to shut the linux instance for the time being uh, power off power off and you see that it has fit completely closed down what i did want to show you guys is you can actually customize the specifications that you want so right now it's only using around 10 gigs but it's on an adjustable status, so it'll automatically make space for the Ubuntu VM. Bear in mind, this is my work machine, so it only has about 16 gigs of RAM. It's an M1 Pro machine. Um, this is one of the machines. This is one of the lightweight machines I have. Um, but I can actually already see that it's assigned by default to two processor cores. It's got two gigs of RAM. I can mingle around with this and, and change it to four or even more if I want to. However, two is doing the case for and doesn't usually i use about four to four to six gigs um for linux but in this instance just for tutorial sake i didn't um you can already see it's the, the graphics and it's already scaled for resolutions as well you can use mouse and keyboard so it's 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 an amazing piece of software for sure and i know for a fact guys that you will absolutely love it it's fluid it's easy it's one of the best um, software that's available out there i prefer this more than vmware um, and also the uh, the free alternative which i think is also called urm um, don't quote me on that one but i think parallels has all the features that you need and i think it's well worth the price tag um, that they set it for so guys thank you for watching this was just a very quick tutorial on how to install ubuntu linux um, you can install other linux versions the same way guys you won't have any issues and yeah guys if you like the video like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one